Hi, everyone, and welcome to the second session of Digital Dontex webinar series. This is Mahmoud al with you today from Digital Dontex International Academy. It's our pleasure and honor to welcome our guest speaker, Professor Angelio Cardarelli from Italy. Professor Cardarelli will share with us his experience in digital workflow for all in four, all in six, and all in X implant rehabilitation. Professor Angelo Cardarelli is an oral surgeon, prosthodontist, and implantologist from Italy. In 2007, he graduated with a load in dentistry and dental prosthetics from the University of L'Aquila. In 2010, he specialized in oral surgery at the Sapienza University of Rome. Uh, professor Cardarelli works as an adjunct professor at UCAM, University of Spain, and also as an adjunct professor at the University of San Rafael Hospital, Milan, Italy. Also, he works as a visiting professor at the International University of Agadir, Morocco. Professor Cardarelli is an expert in the field of oral surgery and implant prosthetic rehabilitation. He practices as an oral surgeon at Clinica Cardarelli, Israena, Italy, and an oral surgeon at Dona Medical Clinic, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. In addition, he is a scientific advisor to the dental clinic at the Department of IRCCS, San Rafael, Milan, Italy. Professor Cardarelli is an author for many scientific publications. He is also an author of the book, Piezoelectric uh, Surgery of Implant Impacted uh, Teeth, Idera, publisher 2020. In addition, he's a very active as a speaker at many national and international congresses on, on, on implant dentistry and oral surgery. During this webinar, Professor Cardarelli will share his valuable insights, practical tips, and innovative techniques that will enhance your clinical skills in implant dentistry and oral surgery. This webinar promises to be a valuable resource for all dental professionals. So just uh, before uh, Professor Cardinali start his uh, uh, presentation, I would like to raise your attention that you can leave your questions in the Q&A section. And after that, Professor Cardinali will answer your uh, questions. So once again, uh, let us welcome Professor Andrew Cardinale with us today. Uh, Andrew, thank you so much for accepting our invitation to have uh, to be with us today. So I think the stage is yours. Please share your screen. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks again for your kind presentation and uh, for introducing me about this webinar. This webinar, it will be only just an appetizer in order to present our next online courses in which you can find more details about the treatment of atrophic jaws using digital workflow. So the step-by-step -step procedure in order to achieve a great results in terms of an aesthetic and function for our patients. So today in this uh, <clears throat> short presentation, I want to uh, share with you my experience about the treatment of atrophic jaws using digital implant, using all on X procedure like all on four and all on six. But the main point is how we can rehabilitate those kind of patient using a digital workflow for the immediate loading in order to have a good result in terms of the host integration and in terms of the healing regarding the soft tissue. So basically, in this kind of rehabilitation, we need to treat the patient from the surgical point of view, for sure. So we need to place correctly the implants. And in my course, you can see that in all my cases, I use the open flap surgery, brain guide surgery, prosthetic guide surgery in order to have a good prosthetic result. So from the surgical procedure till to 
the immediate restoration, as you can see from this short video, within 72 hours, we can achieve these results. Immediate loading, immediate restoration, and immediate function. And why is important the temporal restoration? Because the temporal restoration will guide the osteointegration and will guide the healing of soft tissue. So for this reason, it's absolutely mandatory to have a good temporal restoration. And here you can see this clinical situation only three days later. After implant placement, using in this specific case, the all on four procedure in the upper jaw. But anyway, it's very important to see the quality of this kind of the temporal restoration only 72 hours later. So the digital workflow is very important and we can treat the patient with different approach. Just to introduce this concept using this case just as example. Here we can see a 73 years old patient in which we need to treat the lower jaw, the mandible, in which we have this residual situation, residual dental elements. For sure, we need to have the OPG, but it's not enough. We need to have the CBCT in order to understand the thickness, in order to understand better the bone volume. And then we can go ahead with the surgical procedure. In this case, you can see that also from the OPG, we have enough bone in the lower jaw. And this is the situation before. So you can see the patient has a fixed prosthesis in the anterior side and the removable prosthesis in the posteriors. And after that, we can see better the clinical situation. So we have a few residual dental elements in the lower jaw. We need to remove all of them in order to treat and in order to rehabilitate this patient. But it's very interesting to see the quality of soft tissue. You can see some infection, especially in the anterior side. So we need to manage this infection. So the infection is not a contraindication for immediate implant placement. Don't forget this thing. So we need to prepare the patient. And I mean, we need to prepare the patient from the pharmacological point of view. So if we have acute infection, we need to shift from acute to chronic infection using the antibiotics therapy at least three days before the surgery. And also in this kind of rehabilitation, I use always the conscious sedation with the anesthesiologist support. So with the conscious sedation, we can control the anxiety, we can control the blood pressure, we can reduce the bleeding, and we can increase our surgical view. It's another thing very important in order to manage better this kind of rehabilitation. Another thing very important is the prosthetic part, because before the surgical procedure, before the extraction, we need to take the impression and we can use the digital scanner about the upper, the lower jaw, and also we need to fix the bite. Why? It's very important because we need to fix this vertical dimension and we will use this vertical dimension for the immediate restoration and for the temporary restoration. So the impression before the surgery is absolutely mandatory. Only after that we can perform our surgical procedure. Here you can see the situation before the surgery. We have enough bone according to the OPG, according to the CBCT. So now we can perform our surgery. Using the trapezoidal flap, two vertical incision on the distal side to avoid the mental nerve, we can open the flap and we can see everything, the buccal side and the, the side, in order to reduce any mistakes during the surgical procedure. So this phase is very important before the implant placement. And in this rehabilitation, another thing very important is the ostectomy. 
we need to perform the bone reduction before the implant placement. And here you can see the occlusal view. So through this picture, through this flap, we can see everything. So we have a good view on the lingual side, so we can understand better the shape of the bone, and we can see the full volume of the bone. So in this case, we have not enough problems. We have a good bone shape, so we can place six axial implant, all on six, because we have enough bone. But in order to place correctly those implants, we need to follow always the prosthetic point of view. So we need to check the parallelism between the implants exactly like this. Otherwise, we can have some problem during the prosthetic part. So we need to check the inclination, I mean the buccal and the lingual inclination, and the parallelism between the implants. The parallelism is very important because only we have only this chance to change the direction of the implants. I mean, after the use of the second drill, we can check the parallelism using the parallel pin. And only if it is okay, we can go forward with the next drill and then we can place the implant. So you can see through this picture, the open surgical procedure, but the prosthetic guide approach and the brain guide we can see everything, we can place the implants correctly without any issue. So six implants. And then in this rehabilitation, considering the inclination, I didn't use the multi-unit abutment, but I use the direct connection between the T-base and the internal connection in order to take the impression. So after the implant placement, now we can take the digital impression using the scan body directly on the top of the implant. In this case, without multi-unit. Another thing is how we can manage, how we can replace the soft tissue around the implants. As you can see, I use always the resorbable sutures because I don't want to move the temporal restoration after one week, after 10 days. So I prefer to use the resorbable suture in order to leave the temporal restoration at least for four, six months, four months in the mandible and six months in the upper jaw before the final restoration. So now we can take the impression only using the digital scanner to take the impression on the scan body because we can use the previous vertical dimension that I fixed in the previous impression. And we can use this vertical dimension to deliver the final restoration. And have a look at this image. I use the vertical mattress in order to hold the soft tissue around the implants. And here you can see the direction and the position of our implants. And those are the scan body that we can use for the digital impression. So after that, we can send our file, STL5, to our dental technician. And we can use the healing cap to cover the implants. Okay, so after 72 hours later, we can receive this temporary restoration on six implants. And here you can see the 3D printed model and the temporary restoration with PMMA as temporary Toronto. Okay. And here from the occlusal view, you can understand the importance of the correct implant placement for the prosthetic reason, for the prosthetic point of view. And the shape 
of the temporal restoration is very important because with this shape, I want to manage the soft tissue. And I will show later what I mean. So with the temporal restoration, we can achieve a good aesthetic for sure result for the patient, functional result, but also with the temporal restoration will guide the healing of soft tissue. And here you can see the situation only 72 hours later. PMMA screwed temporal restoration. Here you can see the resorbable sutures. No, so now we need to wait post integration four months for the mandible and six months for the maximum. Regarding the occlusion, considering that I used the six axial implant, I can manage the occlusion. Also, I can deliver the occlusion also on the posterior side. Because as you know, in the all on four concept, I mean, in case I use the tilted implant, I avoid the occlusion loading in the posterior. So I need to keep the occlusion only in the anterior, um, between canine to canine. But in this case, considering that I use the six axial implant, I can use this different loading. And then we can see the OPG after the implant placement. Six axial implant, open flap surgery, free hand surgery, brain guide, and prosthetic guide. And here you can see the direct connection between the uh, T base and the implant, okay? Using the T base with direct connection without hexagon. So now we can see the occlusal view. This is the temporal restoration, always three days after the surgery. Here you can see the shape of the temporal restoration and the use of the rotatory T base like this without hexagon. Now we can wait the host integration and have a look the healing that we can have only four months later. But how we can achieve this result? Using a correct implant placement, using a correct temporary restoration in order to have this result. Have a look, the new soft tissue shape that we have only four months later, when I removed the temporary restoration to finalize the case with the final restoration. But anyway, have a look, the amazing healing that we can have only four months later. So now we have a good soft tissue shape, we have a good quality and a good thickness of keratinized tissue. And the keratinized tissue is very important to protect the implants and to avoid some problems related to perimplantitis and mucositis. Now it's very easy to finalize this case because we have already the 3D printed model. So now we need to scan. We need to take the impression of the soft tissue using the digital scanner. And then we can have this final Toronto made in ceramic. And in the final restoration, we decide to use an amount of artificial gingiva. Why? Because we need to avoid the inesthetic effect of long teeth. So this amount of fake gingiva is important for the aesthetic point of view. So this is a screw at Toronto made in ceramic. And here you can see the T base without hexagon with the direct connection on the top of the implant. And this is the final view. Also, we need to choose a, a right color like this in order to avoid 
any inesthetic effect between the natural tissue and the artificial tissue. And this is the final view that we can see, the occlusal view, and the final X-ray. So six implants for full mouth rehabilitation in the mandible using straight implants and using the digital impression from the temporal restoration to the final restoration. But sometimes we need to treat, treat a challenging case. Old patient with the perio issue, exactly like this. 75 years old patient in which you can see a huge infection. As you can see from the OPG before. So we need to remove all of them. The patient wants to keep those dental elements. Mm -hmm. So we need to treat only the left side, removing all of them for sure, because we have infection and it's not possible to keep. So we have removed all of them. And for sure, we need to perform the GBR procedure using the grafting material just to fill the gap and just to cover with the double layer of collagen membrane, exactly like this. Those are the dental elements after the extraction. And here you can see the horizontal mattress in order to close the flap, in order to wait, and in order to have a good healing in terms of the soft and hard tissue. This is the OPG immediate after. So you can see the pins that I use it to fix the membrane in order to cover the grafting material. And now we need to wait at least nine months. And after nine months, we have this situation. Nice eating in terms of soft tissue, in terms also about the hard tissue. And here you can see the pin that I use it to regenerate the bone. So now we can place the implant. And as I told before, the ostectomy is mandatory because we need to place the implants at the same level. And here you can see the short video about this procedure. So this is the surgery nine months after the healing. So open flap procedure as usual full thickness flap in order to see the buccal and the lingual side. And then we need to disconnect to, to disconnect the lingual tissue, exactly like this. And we can mark the emergence of mental nerve. So brain guide surgery. For sure, we need to remove the pin that we use it. This is the ostectomy, so with the clamps and with the straight end piece, we can remove the bone. Then we can place the implant, four straight implants. We have now enough bone. There is no indication to tilt the posterior implant, but we can go ahead with the four implants, like this, straight implants, as usual. I need to check the parallelism between the implants is absolutely mandatory in order to avoid any mistake, okay? And then we can place the implant. Four implants, like this, following always and checking always the parallelism and don't forget that here we have the emergence of mental nerve, but I have marked this emergence using the pencil, so we don't have any problem. Same things, healing cap, scan body, and digital impression. And also in this case, immediate restoration within 72 hours later. But have a look the surgical step, the implant placement, the healing cap that I use to manage and to close the flap. This is the situation. 
before and after the implant placement, have a look at good healing, the parallelism between the implants and the digital impression. The same things before the, uh, the, the surgical procedure, I fixed the vertical dimension using the digital impression on the lower, on the lower and on the upper jaw, and I fixed the bite in order to keep the vertical dimension. Then after the surgery, we can take the impression. It's very easy and fast procedure like this with the digital scanner. Okay. And then we can send the file. And within 72 hours later, we have this kind of rehabilitation. We can say half Toronto for implants for half mouth rehabilitation. This is the temporal restoration without multi-unit abutment, also in this case, using the t -base. And here you can see this amount of the artificial gingiva in order to maintain the same vertical dimension. And this is the situation after the surgery. As usual, now we need to wait the healing. So this is the X-ray after the implant placement for axial implant. And again, different clinical case, but the same result because we have used the same protocol and have a look the healing of soft tissue as usual four months later when I removed the temporary restoration. We have a new soft tissue shape. So now again, it's very easy to take the impressions of tissue. We have already in our lab, the, uh, the 3D printing model. So we need to match the new impression and the old impression in order to have a good soft tissue shape. And then we can have, we can get this half mouth rehabilitation screwed on four straight implants again made in ceramic have a look the color and the shape of soft tissue in order to have the better result for the patient this is the final restoration four implants and four t-base without hexagon and then the final view. So this is a challenging case because we have a natural teeth and the a dental side. So we need to combine, we need to match this clinical situation. But as you can see, we can achieve a good result also in this case, following the right implant placement. As usual, the occlusal view. So here we have the natural teeth and here we have the half Toronto, screw it on four implants. And again, the OPG after, okay? And this is the new bone after GPR procedure. So if you want to have more details about this procedure, you can find some, uh, our publication about the use of the tilted implant in the, in the upper jaw and in the lower jaw, the all on four procedure, because this is a predictable therapy. And another option, but I think is the last option, is the use of the zygomatic implant. And here I would like to introduce our last book, just came out a few months ago, about the use of the zygomatic implants in extreme atrophic rehabilitation. So I think in these few minutes, uh, I just introduce our course it will be divided in four modules and in this course you can find the procedure about this kind of rehabilitation surgical and prosthetic procedure so if you want 
you can register and then you can book uh, this course on Digit Odontics International Academy platform. Um, it was, as usual, a uh, 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 very, very nice uh, presentation and uh, you divided us through a different uh, cases and uh, very uh, uh, challenging cases that you showed. And it's really amazing, you know, how, how you can see the difference, you know. And as you say, the, uh, the, the, the mental guide or the brain guide uh, surgery, so you can see everything, you can manage everything. Yes, and, exactly. And the, the, the excellent results that you achieve is, is amazing. So thank you so much thank for you very much. Uh, a nice and great lecture. Um, so, uh, if the audience have any questions, please write them on the Q and A. Uh, but, um, uh, Angelo, I have a question. So, how digital dentistry or digital workflow enhance your technique to improve the outcome of the of the treatment? Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, how digital workflow enhance your results uh, that can show very nice results, how, how that can make your work much easier and improve the, the outcome yes. of the Yes, for, for sure, the digital workflow is a very innovative approach, but as usual, you need to, uh, to have a good skills about this procedure because sometimes it's, it's not easy, especially at the beginning to take the impression, especially after the surgery, because sometimes we have, a, we have some uh, blood, so sometimes it's difficult to take the impression. So we need to have a good knowledge about this procedure. But anyway, using the digital workflow, for sure we can have a very precise restoration in terms of the shapes, in terms of the soft tissue. And also we can reduce the times for the patient. In only a few hours, within three days, we can have this amazing temporal restoration. So actually, I think the digital approach is in a very innovative approach in order to reduce the time and in order to increase the aesthetic and the functional result for the patients. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, so I think there's no more, more questions. So uh, we will go with the, uh, with, we will conclude our, uh, our session uh, for today. Okay, so um, uh, once again, uh, Dr. Cardelli, thank you so much for your time and effort to share with us your excellent uh, work. And um, as, a, as a tradition for digital dentics, we would like to present you a certificate of appreciation. Thank you. So uh, uh, we hereby express our uh, sincere appreciation to Professor Angelo Cardelli in recognition of his contributions as a live webinar speaker for the Digital Dontics webinar series on the topic of digital workflow for all in four, all on six, and all on X implant rehabilitation that was presented on Wednesday, July 12th, 2023. Angelo, thank you. Thank you. Thank so you much. very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. And uh, once again, uh, we would like to mention uh, uh, about. The upcoming uh, course, as uh, Professor Cardarelli mentioned in the beginning, uh, very soon we will have a more detailed uh, online course that explain all the details about the atrophic jaw rehabilitation using uh, straight and uh, tilted implants. And that will be within a, a fully digital workflow. So uh, uh, stay tuned and see you all in the uh, course that will come in very, very, very soon. So have a good uh, morning, a good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Bye-bye.